So remember that I had a demo thing and I taught you how to use the demo? And that's very difficult for pe people, I find out, to use that stupid little thing over there for the, uh, you know what I mean, that, that uh, dialog box to write programs in. So you have the My Apps on your, uh, on your school computers. So you open up My Apps, and three years later when you actually log in into it, log in, you will type over here Notepad. And Notepad++ comes up. You click on Launch. So this is what you do when you start, OK? So you run the Notepad. You put it at right, OK? And immediately, immediately save the file with something with extension CPP. So anywhere on the computer desktop, it doesn't matter where. Anywhere you want, just type over there something like prg.cpp to get syntax highlighting, OK? So the extension becomes CPP. Then you log into uh, the, the thing that you have, the, what should we call it, the um, um, test that you have. So if I recall correctly, I'm going to, so you start your test. I'm going to actually put a video on it as usual, like I'm going to actually show you how to do it. So you do like that. You do like this, and, and then you can adjust exactly what it's supposed to be. Make the size right so you have both of them on your screen. And that's going to be what you have till the end of the test. You're not allowed to open any other application in any way. OK? Um, I don't want to lock your computers, but I'm going to look at your computers. And I'm recording the sessions. So. So uh, then, you, then you start your test, whatever you are supposed to do. So, uh, oh, it's already saved. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, did I? Anyway, so let's say I want to do this. Uh, yeah, so uh, let me explain. So um, what is this right now that you see? Uh, I'm going to come over here, uh, cancel. Let me edit this one. If I see anything like this coming in, I'm not going to mark it. Okay, so anything like this comes up, I'm not going to even bother looking at it because now you have this facility over here. So whatever you want to do, say you want to, I ask you to write a program for the base. When you are writing it, this is what you're going to get in here, correct? Very nicely organized and everything's good. And when you actually copy this and paste it in this one, I can open it. It's not going to, I was demonstrating to the other class. Obviously, you're going to select C++ over here. And when you paste it over here, this is the outcome. So if I see you have multiple spaces between your stuff, it means you copied it from some other source that was internet related because that, uh, the, the, the new lines are not translated. It's automatically zero. This is what I accept. OK? And just write your code and paste it over there. Like this, the good thing is that you can actually see the question. At the other time, you had to copy the question, browse up and down. So you can actually see the question at left, program it at right, then copy and paste and be done with it very easily. So this is how we're going to do it from now on. Yes? No, you didn't see at the beginning what I did? My apps? Yes, so you go to My Apps. You log into my, you type Notepad, Notepad++ plus plus comes up. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, so, pardon me? Oh, it does it automatically. Like, like when you, uh, it, it actually works pretty nicely. It actually works pretty nice. So if I write over here, no, oh, sorry. If I actually, let me just demonstrate. So in here, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to come over here and say, class. Derived base. And as you see, it actually gives you the completion. Public. Oh, so public base. Sorry, I, I'm out of my game today. Public base. And do like this. So as you see, it actually syntax highlighted for you. So you can write it perfectly.
and everything is there. And also it does all the tabs and everything, so it's a perfectly good environment to edit any C or C++ code. So that's how you do it, and then after you've done, then anything like, you don't even open that, but make sure that you are, when you're submitting, you select C++. If you do something like this and put it over here and submit it, that's not gonna be marked. I want it syntax highlighted, nicely done, I'm giving you the tools, you have to do it perfectly, okay? And it's very simple. After you're done, you're satisfied with your work, you simply select C++ and you submit it, and now I can see it and actually mark it, okay? Um, again, I'm repeating, if I see anything like this coming in, if I see this, it's not going to be marked. Okay, and don't tell me I have to put spaces to see it properly. No, you don't. You're just copying it from somewhere else. Okay? There is no useful thing for this. And especially when there are like two, three lines equal, it means somebody copied from somebody who copied from somebody who copied from somebody, and each time a line was added to it. Okay? So please don't. Give it me like that, and we are all good and nice. So uh, for those who came a little later, so this is how we're going to deal with it. You're going to get the question from me. Let me just uh, pause this.